<clears throat> Apologize for the tire. It's a little late. I'm off work. I'm just trying to relax. But I just came back from a trip. Uh, was in Arizona before. Grabbed a couple beers. But the one I didn't really get too much pizzazz out of was Hus Brewing. Um, I do want to check them out. Uh, they have a light beer I have, so I'll do that one later. But the thing that caught my attention, it wasn't the can. It was just orange peel instead of uh, grapefruit. And I never thought of that. I've brewed a few beers. And I'm not experienced enough. I just thought about it. So that would be a great idea. But they went above and beyond. They're inspired uh, by the Aravipa, Aravipa, I don't know, Arapa Trail. <laughs> I don't know if I said it. But it's in McDowell Mountain. Um, so from that, they went with not just orange peel or orange zest. Uh, they have a hint of sage and agave to represent the flavors and the smells of the desert. Um, I believe they nailed it. If you've ever been to the desert, it's not like the city. When you got that hot asphalt and concrete and the rain hits, the desert, it, it's dirt, you know. But when you hit mud, it just smells like, you know, muddy dirt, you know, like just earth. But the desert has this weird clean to it because it's usually just dry all the time so there's not much going on and what is living out there is very minimal and it's usually cacti or a few other plants and then the rest are dormant until it rains so the regular smell when the sun goes down and when the light rain hits it's very fresh clean and, and vibrant it's amazing love it uh i've been a long time when i was a kid i never really go deep in it but i have to hang around it um Going in the desert is very dangerous. Be careful. You should be ready and have all kinds of access and communication. But it's fun. Gorgeous. Let people go to sand dunes, things like that. Anyways, point being, that's what inspired them. Hus Brewing, I've been really trying to find a beer uh, that really just speaks to me. And I didn't even know because the packaging off the bat just says this. Papago Desert Sage Orange IPA. It's amazing. All right. But the flavor. Oh. It's perfect. It um, all the excess, wonderful bitter notes of the IPA really balance out and kind of extend in a way. Because sometimes when the bitter hits, it kind of cuts it off. This just starts to go into a different level, and I'm very happy about it. I really wish I, I grabbed more of them, but I was on a budget. So from that, you get the, it makes a very beautiful orange, clean IPA. And to be honest, I am not a super big fan of sage. I don't hate it. Um, as far as spice, a little little bit goes a very long way. Very long way. I don't know what it is. Enough of it's great. Too much of it just is, um, it's like licking a rock. It's, what it, it's the best way I can describe it. It's not pleasant. It's not horrific, but it's not pleasant. So this is a natural little funkiness from the sage. Because um, it still has like green, you know. But sage tends to be a little fuzzy looking, like lamb's ear, all that stuff. It just has this weird extra, and that whatever's in that part of the plant just really stands out as part of the sage flavor. But here it's pleasant. It's just a little funky, slightly pungent, is like what you can call it. Like blue cheese is very pungent. This is just very mellow. Part of it's from the beer, I believe, and part of it's from the sage. But then the citrus, the peel, it's very rounded. It's not a, it's not sharp. Chris, the citrus is very intense and to the point this is it's pleasant it's like a dewy morning you know just amazing and then boom i'm getting that sage but just enough of it where the orange just takes over immediately the malt is very present kind of kind of sweet between the orange and the malt together they come very fruity and then the orange peel hits and unlike grapefruit it doesn't have a very sharp zing, so it's very pleasant and it just keeps going and going and going. It's like drinking that first glass of orange juice in the morning. It's not just the flavor and the sugar. It's that pleasant orange, refreshing, waking up, but in beer form in the citrus peel. It's just pleasant. Grapefruit, not my favorite uh, as far as in beer. Fruit itself, love it. Enjoyed it plenty of times. It definitely has grown on me over the years, but they also grow a lot better now, a lot better. But the orange is already just something sweet, something that's very familiar, something that's around all the time. And this just feels like morning sunrise. That's what it tastes like to me. Morning sunrise in the desert, just enough of the plant to be present, but 
it hasn't really opened up yet. You're just starting. It's a happy moment. Before anything kicks off, you're just enjoying yourself. And that's just what I'm getting from it. It's amazing. Mm. God. The bitter's there from the, the hops, but it's... I can't because of the sage. I'm sorry, I'm going to look around. Um, the sage really... It brings just enough of the plant where you're not at the bitter point of the plant. You're just getting the beginning, the beginning green flavors. Like when you first eat broccoli before, some people like don't like broccoli, it's that bitter part. It's right before that, right before that. Really try my best to describe it, but it's just the whole everything. It's sweet enough, but it's not super sugary, but it's from the fruitiness. You got the citrusiness, you got the earthiness and the malt, but it's just very balanced, very even. And even though I'm getting the, the continuous bitter, Unlike the grapefruit, it's like just sitting on my tongue. Grapefruit kind of just, it feels like it's trying to go in my tongue. And I can't, mm, that's not for me. Just not for me. Uh, some I can handle, they're not too intense, but like sculpting and stuff. I'm glad you guys like it, good for you, you know, no problem. But for me, can't do it. But this, every day. I gotta go get some more. So yeah, Hus, I'm gonna tag you guys. This one's amazing. Definitely so glad I got it and got something that really, anytime around your brewery, I'm going to want to have. Um, I got the lighter one. That'll be later. But yeah, let me know any notes on it. If you're just proud of it, you like it, you've had good results, period. Mainly, just let me know if it's year round because um, if I need to make more trips over that way, I'm going to have to because it's not here in Texas. So I'm going to have to make my butt get over there and uh, get stuck up for a little bit. But for now... Uh, the couple I got left. <laughs> oh, so good. Yeah, if I had a third thumb, I'd, yeah, I'd, I'd put it up. But I only got two. So psh, I didn't like, imagine a third one just because, I don't know. It just, once like, it starts fading, it's just pleasant. It is like after the glass of orange juice kind of feel. But it still had that savory beer. But the sweetness of the beer was accentuated with these other items. And that sweetness just worked well with it and brought it out as much as it presented itself, which is crazy. I know it's hard to describe. Just when you have something sugary that's specific, it kind of takes control. This one kind of went with everything is the best way I can describe it. It seems a little intense and then it just starts to chill and mellow out and it keeps going and going and going. It's just <sighs> so good. So there it is. Um, highly recommend this one. Go for it. I uh, forgot. The last one was in Flagstaff, so this is in Tempe, or Tempe, I don't know how they pronounce it. So uh, in Texas, I learned that humble is pronounced humble, the H is silent. So uh, forgive me if you can make that sound correctly for other people. Um, I will not argue. Just love it. Good beer. We'll stick with that. You have a good evening. Enjoy yourself. Anyone? Sorry. My stand's a little unstable. Um, yeah, just enjoy that. Go for it. If you don't have a reason to go to Arizona, you now have a six-pack's worth. Uh, thank you and take care.